From our Center for the Arts studio, this is your AUTV 20 Sports Break. I'm Cade Krakus. Thanks for tuning in. The Ashland University men's baseball team will need extra ice and stretching after their opening game against the Malone Pioneers. In what was expected to be an exciting matchup, the two teams did not disappoint. The game in Canton, in Canton lasted a grand total of 13 innings, with the Eagles coming out on top 8-6. to six. Ashland's top performer in the victory was senior second baseman Tim Zeller. Zeller went 3-4-7 at bat, connecting on a double and a home run, equating for three total RBIs. With Zeller's home run against Malone, that marks his fourth home run of the year as he averages 400 from the plate. Opening day is always a prime day to impress your fans. Although the Cleveland Guardians fell 3-1 to the Kansas City Royals, the city of Cleveland and its fans were content with the performance. Given the extreme circumstances of rain and 30-40 to 40 mile per hour winds during the game, the fans feel the Guardians performed well. The game was 47 degrees at first pitch with off and on drizzle that turned to shooting pellets of ice during the national anthem, which is a drastic difference from the sun and warmth of Arizona spring training. Cleveland's only real moment during the game came from Jose Ramirez, who had an RBI double for the Guardians a day after agreeing to a $124 million five-year deal to stay with Cleveland. The Guardians look to Saturday, where they take on the Kansas City Royals once more, with first pitch slotted for 4.10 p.m. Tonight, April 8th, in what will potentially be a preview for the NBA play-in tournament, the Cleveland Cavaliers will take on the Brooklyn Nets with tip-off set for 7.30 p.m. The Cavs sit at a record of 43-37, while the Brooklyn Nets sit at 42-38. The Nets can jump in front of the Cavs for the number 7 seed with a win because the Nets lead in the head-to-head -head record through the season. Cleveland will be without stars Evan Mobley and Jared Allen, so the chances of holding on to the number seven spot for Cleveland are looking bleak. The two teams behind the Nets and Cavaliers, the Atlanta Hawks and Charlotte Hornets, might not have a chance to push up in the play-in standings as they both head on the road to face teams that are higher than them in the East for their matchups tonight. And that is it for this AUTV20 Sports Break. Be sure to follow us across all of our social medias at AUTV20. I'm Cade Krakus. Thank you all for watching.